Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where today I believe we are going to do Jack's mission. So in case you've forgotten, because it's been a freaking long time, uh, Jack revealed Cerberus Operator's raised her in a remote facility where they tortured and abused her. She wants to re return to the abandoned facility to destroy it in the Prague yes system. In Mass Effect 1 you had to remember, they didn't didn't have little flags being like, you know, oh, look at this, you know. Oh, let's go feed my fish before I forget. Um, so that's why I always check. <laughs> but nowadays, they just, in Mass Effect 2, they just, they just put the little flags up and you don't have to worry about it. Um, oh, also really quick, I do need to, it's on the same floor, but I need to do a couple upgrades, I think, since I just bought some. It's so eerily quiet. Make sure. Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent Dang. condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I'll let you work. We'll I thought I thought he'd change his uh he might change it since the Cerberus personnel are no longer here. Whoopsie doodle. Tech damage. Uh, Shepard's shields take 20% less damage. That would be dope, honestly. Although I think I don't technically have shields. I have barrier, but it operates the same way. Wow. Reduces the expected operating lifespan by a factor of 20. Dang. Not that that matters to me. Dang, I have, um, I have what I need for that. I just don't have, the, I have the upgrade, I just don't have the platinum for it. Okay. You know what? Ah, uh, sure. We'll get all. I think there's actually an achievement for getting all the um, heavy weapons in the game. There's like ten or something. I could be wrong. I don't want either of these armors, so don't need to worry about that. Do I have any mail? Nope. All right, let's go help. Let's go help Jack. I keep feeling like can I? Oh, I keep feeling like I need. Nope, I didn't want to do that either. Like I need to go talk to my friends, but there's really nothing that's changed right now. Blah blah blah. We can refine her Normandy crash. I didn't realize the Normandy crashed near Omega. Interesting. Help Jack, way out here. Way the frick out here. I keep wanting to make these personal missions into like one episode things. I just don't know if that's gonna happen. They're like just long enough. That it makes it difficult to do that without it being like a 40 minute episode and no one's gonna watch that. Well, I mean, some of you might watch it, but. <laughs> this is an interesting little codex entry. It's, uh, the icy moon of this planet. It's the well-preserved wreckage of an ancient starship that was recovered by a Turian military surveyor. Little information has been released to the public aside from a scholarly paper regarding how the internal layout just a horizontally oriented race. I don't know. I find those little tidbits neat. <laughs> All that mining I just did really quick. Let me get that emergency shielding upgrade, so. Pretty sure I've got all the upgrades that I had in the queue now. Oh, I didn't read. Dang it, I didn't read the entry. Oh, obviously, we're gonna bring Jack. See, this is the one that. Uh, that uh, that 
sort of fixes Garrus' armor. But we could give him the crunchy armor, but in a different color. We are going to bring Legion. Because it's actually a pretty balanced squad, honestly, Legion and Jack. But also, I need to bring Legion out. I have never brought Jack out. I apologize, Jack. Mine's the wide, the wide one, so I'll give her heavy. That one. We'll give her pull. Actually, warp ammo. Care about. I don't really care about the ammos besides like cryo and uh, fire, whatever it is. So, which is maybe not great, but you know, it's fine. Also, I'm pretty sure once I do Jack's mission, I forgot how much I hate this place. Something happens with Jack and Miranda. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures every. Except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. Jammers would keep the facility hidden. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Jack is a very damaged individual. I should be able to talk to her more after this, I feel like. I feel like she's usually a fairly chatty one. I forgot I gave her that setup. That outfit. I'm, I'm like, oh dang it, because now you can't see your eyes, but it's cool. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. It'll be super easy. No problems. Barely an inconvenience. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is just, it's wild. And they're freaking, the elusive man's like, no, it's definitely, it was uh, outside the parameters. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, and I I actually do kind of believe him honestly because there is I think in his codex thing that he's a he's the most recent Cerberus like he run like leader of Cerberus and I think he's been doing it a while. But like with I think with a, such a large organization there are some things that are gonna be hidden from you no matter how omniscient you may think you are but still it's uh i also don't trust him fully i feel like he would do a lot of things to push humanity to greatness air quotes <laughs> and uh i just i don't know i just don't know if i see him torturing kids you know but people do it people did it obviously i thought this was a lore terminal which is why i was Chatting. Um. I always need the money because I, I have decent amount of mineral resources, just not no money. I no monies. Dang, this, I mean, I realize I tell you this a lot, but, like, the Legendary Edition looks great. <laughs> like, these facilities, like, it's nothing, like, crazy. But... The elusive man requested operation logs. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. The elusive man requested operation logs again. He's getting suspicious. Okay. When we get results. So, we are, they are trying to exonerate him. escaping to this room fighting here I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling only a half-dead guard between me and freedom he was begging for his life oh 
But I don't blame her for crushing all of them. The guards, at least. And I don't blame her, because eventually we see, you know, like, her sort of twisted view of, um, things wasn't totally 100% correct, but the guards and the scientists 100% got what they were coming to them. What was coming to them? It just sucks that a small, you know, a young girl who was very... And that's the thing, right? Like, they get what they were coming to, what was coming to them, but did she have to be, like... Did she deserve to have that on her, like, that weight on her shoulders? Because, like, killing people does, like, it changes you as a person. Like, even if you do it for, like, air quotes, the right reasons. Contact. Woo! Oh, jeez, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was watching. Target contact ready for next target. That heavy shockwave is really good. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. <laughs> they actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. She's like, keep moving. you know, you know exactly what was wrong with these really people, sick. right? They're just, they're just sick. But like, Jack's like, you know what? Can't change that, you know? Like, I mean, she doesn't want to think about it, really. I don't blame her, right? Like, what a, what a horrible life. <laughs> Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming her, right? Like, she, she saw a situation. She saw a way to get out. She took it. And her situation was a bit distorted. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Is there anything? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack this. It's just wild. Like, her story is just wild. Like, literally, just, like, kidnapping biotically enhanced children. Or kidnapping biotic children. Possibly enhancing some of the other ones. But it's all literally just to force Jack to, like, be... Like, who... It's like freaking trying to capture the... Like, was it the, the thing that... Oh my gosh, what is their names? The, the evil corporation in the, um in the Alien series, or, like, the evil Umbrella Corporation in in Resident Evil. Like, we were like, we'll definitely rein in zombie uh, now. We'll definitely, you know. We've been spotted. Like, we'll definitely be able to, to control zombies now after eight tries. It's like, you, you condition a murderer, and then you are surprised Surprised when it doesn't work, you know? It. Like when she gets out and murderizes you, like. Like, I just. It just blows my mind <laughs> that people think that it's gonna work. That 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 that, that, that sort of thing is going to work. I just. Wait, what? Oh no, we're being flanked! 
Target contact. Oh, I forget these guys have they have like insane health regen. More than freaking Krogan, but that's why we use fire ammo. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me go up, I think, to a different level. Why'd they need a morgue? This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were a part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Yeah, we, uh... Jack has gotten this far by not sympathizing with the children who she saw as also... Oh, whoopsie. Um... Dang it. Um... Who she saw also as tormenting her, but she's not taking into consideration the fact that maybe those other children were also forced into doing what they did. You know, like every all of them were trying to survive, and it just. But she was kept in a cell, like, like you can't you can't blame her for what she interpreted of the situation as a child who was tortured and drugged literally conditioned to kill other children like it's not even like it's sick enough if it's adults right strange to be back here i feel like i'm pissed off i'm a dangerous bitch but then i'm a little girl again shit it's complicated let's just go plant that bomb. yeah i know this is a, <laughs> this is it's got to be super weird and jack is not the most like um, in in tune with herself i feel like in a lot of ways or she's not, um... She hasn't been able to process this in any way, let alone a healthy way, you know? She's basically just tried to survive. joking the companion whoever you bring along they always have kind of something to say it's it's interesting bringing Thane here just like the way he speaks very calmly and like but also like there are there's I think there's like one moment in particular I think it's in here because especially like with his like tie to his son and stuff like at least with that background you have of him he's just he's he's very upset with this area this whole situation but it's interesting having Legion's point of view here Pull my headset. This it's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. But they so she could see out, but they couldn't see in, is that I think that's what it is. Cause that yeah. It's a one. She she said two way, but I think she meant one way. Yeah, pretty sure. I must have come through here when I broke out, but I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. A side died. effect. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. Yeah. Well, I'm like, why, why else does she think they were there? Besides, I guess she maybe thinks they were just there to fight her. But no, yeah, like they were. It's not even that they that the 
she was killing them fast enough. They were killing them fast enough. I mean, how, like, how could that guy just stand there and report this? Like, it's about children. I certainly hope our uh, biotic potential candidates hold up because we're going through a fast. These are children. Like, it's wild. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. And that's the narrative she's built up and coming here and finding these entries is kind of starting to crumble that. You move on. Harder and tougher. I usually paragon it up in here. I don't want any other research that came out of this place. I think you actually, for, I think you get some sort of biotic upgrade for Jack, which is still, like, why would she want that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't think she'd want anything from this facility. I can use this. Oh, just regular biotic damage, nice. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. It's a little late for that. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Yeah. Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an Alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. You couldn't have known. Maybe. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. They, she really couldn't have. Like, you know? Like, I don't know. Oh, hi. How convenient. Hey, Arash. It's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Ah! Go on my own. I want to dead. Oh no. Oh shoot, not one of you guys. I can take you. Are you dead? No, you're not. Oh, that you scared the crap out of me. Under fire. I'm trying to hit the... There we go. <laughs> Office Great Fire. All squads. Form up. Now. I need a... Targeting order processed. Targeting. Above and then They're so scary looking. Mission overrun. We outnumber and outgun well, all. Well, yeah. Get your armor off by pulling you over here. Dang it. He also looks like he's glitching out. Prepare for short range combat. What? They're not coming at us yet. Don't scare me. <laughs> He's just like, ow! Is it, I don't know if this is good against barriers. Oh, it is. Why am I not using the locust? Contact.
only room left is my old cell. Whoever Aresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. We look pretty bad, eh, honestly. Come out. We know you're here. <laughs> we look... This squad in particular looks quite intimidating. Who are you? My name is Aresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. Yeah, good luck with that. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using That's exactly it? what he's trying to do. Like, he's like, there had to be a purpose to it, to our suffering. So, therefore, I have to find out what they were searching for. You know, I have to find the solution, you know? You do the same thing to new kids. Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How'd you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Oh, hold on, hold on, Jack. <laughs> Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. He's not going to be able Get to. Out of here. Go. He does not have the resources. He can bring a band of Krogan mercs. It's not worth chasing. None of it That's is. That's a good point. Like, he's got a band of Krogan mercs that are probably going to kill him anyway because he freaking doesn't have the money to pay him. Like, he doesn't have Cerberus' resources. There's no way he'd be able to do it again. So, you did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. It never did any good. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. You were a kid! <laughs> you know? It's just... What else? What else? What else are you gonna do? Are we gonna... Oh. Talk out here? See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay. No more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell.
Uh, that is an utterly massive explosion. What did she put in there? <laughs> I'm also kind of surprised she didn't watch it blow up, honestly. Concerned that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records, surviving facility signs it's already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. I think Jack killed them. Yep! <laughs> Disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? The I'll deal two with most it. powerful Take biotics pictures. on my shit. Take pictures! <laughs> Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Hey, let's really hope that this uh, this works. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences until the mission's over. Sure, I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. I don't know why Miranda had to be a big meanie about it, honestly. Like, I, I, mean, I think Jack probably ran up and started something with her, and then Miranda, like, feels the need to defend Cerberus. Um, but she could just say, yeah, what happened to you was messed up, you know? And not be, like, all, I don't know. Commander. What can I do for you? I don't know what she did. Just be trying to, like, put, like, HR speak around it, you know? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of I course, do. Commander. I shouldn't necessarily be running around in the dress, but I think it looks really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing it for a bit. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope, I think this one will actually be a one episode, so that's nice. So... Thank you all for watching. That actually, that interaction, really quick, that interaction between Miranda and Jack can actually be really difficult, um, and it is better to wait until later in the game. It's one of, like, I usually either hold off Miranda or Jack. Usually Jack's mission I hold off till later. Um, because if you don't have, like, a, you have to have, like, a 75%, like, percentage type thing of um, Paragon over Renegade. Um, so it kind of depends. Like, I don't know, if you... Th Sometimes it's better to do it early if you're, like, you know, hardcore, like, either Paragon or Renegade. Um, but if you're kind of wishy-washy, like I am a little bit. I mean, I'm not, like, super wishy-washy. I'm obviously really Paragon. But, like, that's the problem. If you're even a little bit wishy-washy, sometimes it is possible to fail that fight. And then you have to pick one of them. And I think, I'm pretty sure, um, whoever you pick will live in the other time. Well, let me actually check that. I don't think I've ever played it out that way or no 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 i don't think they'll kill each other immediately but i think they will have it makes their chances of survival in the suicide mission less let me actually look that up because i've never i've never had it play out like that as far as i remember i think i started two once and i reloaded and just didn't do jack's mission and waited until i was like a higher i had a higher paragon amount um because that, that was my safe scum. I was like, no! <laughs> I don't want this to happen. I don't want them to yell at each other. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to end poorly. I didn't have to choose. Like, obviously I chose Jack because I was like, she's been through a lot. But like, yeah. Anyway, let me, let me check. Yes, okay. So this is... So what happens is if you side, if you side with Jack or Miranda, um, the opposite one will lose all of their loyalty, which their loyalty is key for keeping them alive in the suicide mission. So it greatly reduces their chances of surviving the suicide mission. Um, you'll also lose any relationship you may have had with either one of them if you were romancing them. Um... But there is, and this is, this is what I think happened last time, is I did end up having to choose a side. I chose Jack's side. And then you can regain the loyalty of the alienated companion by talking to them again and kind of talking them down. Um, and I actually, I, I actually remember distinctly talking to Jack and, like, regaining her loyalty. So I don't, I must have chosen to side with Miranda. 
because I remember thinking, oh no, I'm screwed with Jack, and then I ended up talking to her and, like, getting a bunch of, like, Paragon or whatever points I was looking for or, and the loyalty back. Um, maybe I'm just making that up, but, like, I feel like I remember going back down to talk with her, to try, and both of them, to try to be like, hey, guys, come on, you know? So you can't talk to them again, and, um, but you still, you do need a, a like a high renegade or paragon check um just not as high as like just diffusing the situation initially um but any relationship you had will not be rekindled so you can get their loyalty back but you won't be able to romance them you know or if you were in the middle of romancing them um and yes this article does say that like this persuasion check is incredibly high um, and is, like I said before, based on the percentage of all the points available in the missions and assignments. So it's not even just, like, per Renegade and Paragon. It's, like, apparently, and maybe, maybe this article is wrong, but a percentage based off all the available Paragon and Renegade in the game. So you need to have a high score. Um, and it does, yeah, leaving there, leaving this until the end is better. So... I do remember learning that. I at least retained that much information, <laughs> even though I don't remember a bunch of things that I should. <laughs> so, um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me on this lovely mission. Uh, it was super great. If Miranda and Jack actually had a fight, I think they are, they are actually the two most powerful biotics on the ship. I would put money on Jack, honestly, um, because she just doesn't have any, like, I think Miranda has self-control, whereas Jack doesn't. <laughs> uh, so I'd put money on Jack. But um, they would still tear my ship apart, so I needed to put a stop to that. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, who's the super bestest, and I super appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much. And thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.